I'm working on a building. I'm working on a building. I'm working on a building. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. What our plan would be is to explain the kind of a cutting edge technology maybe it's yeah um as far as energy efficiency uh-huh it's what we're looking for <laughs> building this is a is our office addition but also as a demonstration of new energy efficient construction four red lake builders right for four yeah. red lake okay. builders yep this is a, a pdt construction out of elbow lake minnesota helping out now we've got um, a few of our own Red Lake Builders employees out here uh, kind of learning the trade as we go. So it's a good learning experience for our guys. And then will this connect then? Yep. Oh, it'll all connect then. Oh, yeah. Yep. Ah, okay. Our breezeway, we're going to plan on a wood frame breezeway here. So if we do remove this building at some point, we could tear that breezeway down and just run with ICF forms and continue and, and redo this building. Uh -huh. So that's our plan. Oh yeah, it's easy. Huh. And what, they just block that in the floor, eh? Yeah. Just keep sliding those in. And what are those? Oh, it's just like a styrofoam. Yep. Yeah. And that'll hold concrete, eh? Yes, it will. Yep. Huh. And this is this is the man with the experience, Dean Capon. So uh -huh. if you want to do a little blurb of him, yeah. these are um, one, two, three Red Lake Builders employees that are getting experience, which we think is invaluable. We gotta yeah. have these guys get a an idea. So if yeah. we move to them, uh, we've got some guys with some knowledge. Huh. Well, you can see they've got these braces going up to stabilize and plumb the walls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then it's expensive to do, but I mean expensive to What do we do, figure about five percent? Depends on how many windows. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> on the window, that's yeah, come on. <laughs> no windows do cost about two hundred bucks an opening. Yeah. But that still isn't too bad to get at windows. Right? It'll be nice to have these. It'll be yeah, nice yeah. to have natural light in here. Um uh, this one is five to ten percent okay now when osb is doubled in price that's getting closer to five percent i mean if you're comparing it to a stick built home uh -huh. in lumber you know osb is doubled in price mm -hmm. yeah. Over double. yeah yeah and it's not going to come back down for some reason in ten well i think what they're doing is they shut all those plants down to create a shortage to, yeah. to do it yeah. make the money out of it like everyone else that can control the market. So it, it just it, it more expensive to build, but in the long run it'll. Well, basically, if you run your numbers on your heating and cooling costs, uh -huh. uh, just to give you an idea, on one home, both levels were finished. Uh, heating and cooling for the year was 285. For the year? Jeez. Hmm. But he didn't have a lot of windows in it. He used a really efficient windows. And then like electric heat? Is that mainly what? In floor. In, in floor? He does all up. Yeah? He basically he did his house with off heat. Hmm. Electric. Mm -hmm. That is a $246? 286. 286 to $300 a year. Man. Jeez. Heating and cooling. Yeah. Because he had it metered separately, so he could keep track. That's of it. exactly what we're going to do here, so we can show people. Average house, but usually, and hundred dollars on electricity a month. The idea um, we're trying to surface around uh, reservation construction um, with a lot of people with low incomes. Mm -hmm. They're handed these homes, uh -huh. um, and a lot of them don't have the capability to pay their utility yeah. bills. So if we could. Cut the cost of the utilities down by. Yeah. You'll be paying about 
a third of what, depending on how you heat it. Now, yeah. Here's off-peak electric with yeah. in-floor heat. That's a really good option to go with. And how about in the summer cool all that's heating and cooling, eh? Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's saving them, yeah. Yep. I talked to one guy who built the house where they never even turned the air conditioning on the house. No? Huh. They have not turned it on yet. Jeez. And he's got a big geothermal loop system. He dug up, uh, he's a farmer and he had a building site about 12 acres, you know. Uh -huh. Other boys getting good. So when this has worked out perfectly so they get some experience. Yeah. That was our you know our first goal is to get the product here so that people can see it. And then with you putting it, he's gonna be putting it in uh, Red Lake Net News. Okay. Tell them about the project yeah. and what we're working towards. Well, I'm just amazed that that styrofoam will be able to hold country. Oh, I hear that every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You said your only blowout issues would be on the... Actually, yeah. what it can on be... On the bottom? Yeah. Every once in a while you can find a panel that's just weak. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, it'll, it'll start to... It'll start to... Bowl like that a little bit, yeah. So, and if it does blow off, there'll be about a wheelbarrow of concrete on it. Then all we do is, uh, of course, keep pouring the rest of it and just move away from this top. Cut it off with a knife right here, take the top seat channel off, slide the other one in, and come back and forth. Yeah. Very easy to fix. Yeah. We've had, uh, well, I don't know, we probably poured 300. Mm -hmm. And then once, once the concrete is laid, and then what do you put? What, what, nothing. Nothing. Put concrete. Sheet rock right on. Sheet rock right on. Yeah. Eight, Eight inch center. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, they'll nail. Oh. Huh. These have pretty. These are really good for fast retention. Yeah. You don't want to use the metal. You got to make sure when you put your sheet rock that it's for its thread. Do not use it. Metal. Don't. Then, then you got a nightmare. Yeah. And, and these are. Because it won't hold. That's recycled plastic. Plastic. Yeah. There. But it feels. Recycled. Recycled everything. Yeah. yeah. That's a big. It's a big deal. Yeah. They're working. I think they have Energy Star. Recycled plastic. The foam. We had a lot of trouble before. These used to be 12 inch pounds. Mm -hmm. And they had to be a real high density foam. So this, you can cut the density of the foam down and then we put more high beams in now because the manufacturers had a hard time getting that spec. I mean, they just, every once in a while would have a bad run. Mm -hmm. And then it's a nightmare, you know, out in the field because then you get this pillowing. Call me yeah. I line up the digging and then you just, here's your keys. <laughs> like, I mean, something like this could be a house. I mean, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they also have the option of going all the way up with the gable ends. Mm -hmm. There's no, in, in, if you're uh, in a building zone in Minnesota, they require an engineer to For engineer the gable. Mobile? Really? Yeah. Which, it's no big deal. I have an engineer I work with all the time. And he just does a whole house flat deal for me for 800 bucks. Decks everything. A little better than three grand, like or 4,000, like a lot of them want. We should get some. I'm working on there. a big product. Yeah. I'm working on a big deal. It looks kind of easy, but it looks it can be deceiving, you know. But you know what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! Royce, oh my am I doing a good for Mike here? Or <laughs> uh -huh. oh, you're too busy. Yeah, yeah. Let them work, let them work. <laughs> and I'll just be roaming around here. <laughs> he doesn't want to slow down. No, it looks, it looks, you know, simple. I mean, not simple, but...